హాయ్ నేను మీ మహాలక్ష్మి వెల్కమ్ టు మహాలక్ష్మి స్పెషల్ ఛానల్ మనం లాస్ట్ క్లాస్లో వాట్ ఈస్ సీ లాంగ్వేజ్ అండ్ ఆల్సో హిస్టరీ ఆఫ్ సీ లాంగ్వేజ్ అనేది చూసాము ఈ క్లాస్లో మనం హిస్టరీ ఆఫ్ కంప్యూటర్స్ని చూద్దాము ఈ హిస్టరీ ఆఫ్ కంప్యూటర్స్నే మనం జనరేషన్స్ ఆఫ్ కంప్యూటర్స్ అని కూడా అంటాము సో ఈ నార్మల్లీ ఈ కంప్యూటర్స్ అనేది ఎలా క్లాసిఫై అంటే ఇంటూ ఫైవ్ జనరేషన్స్ డిపెండింగ్ అపాన్ దేర్ యూసేజ్ టెక్నాలజీ సైజ్ అండ్ లాంగ్వేజెస్ దేర్ ఆర్ ఫైవ్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ జనరేషన్స్ ఇన్ ఫస్ట్ జనరేషన్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద లాంగ్వేజ్ వీ ఆర్ యూజింగ్ ఈజ్ మెషన్ లెవెల్ లాంగ్వేజ్ ఇన్ సెకండ్ జనరేషన్ వీ ఆర్ యూజింగ్ అసెంబ్లీ లాంగ్వేజ్ ఇన్ థర్డ్ జనరేషన్ వీ ఆర్ యూజింగ్ హై లెవెల్ లాంగ్వేజ్ ఇన్ ఫోర్త్ జనరేషన్ we are using very high level language in fifth generation we are using natural language and first we discuss about first generation in first generation computers were manufactured using thousands of vacuum tubes and also this generation of computers programming was done by machine level language only what is machine level language is this machine level language means everything will be represented in the form of ones and zeros only computer can able to understand only these two digits so in first generation what are the advantages are execution of code is very fast and also utilization of memory is efficiently and what are the disadvantages of first generation is code is machine dependent and code is difficult to write or understand by people and also error detection also very hard due to vacuum tube technology it will occurly more space and too much expensive so here vacuum tubes occupy more space so that is one of the disadvantage in first generation in second generation the second generation computers were manufactured by using transistors so in first generation we are using vacuum tubes and here in second generation we are manufactured by using transistors so for this generation what are the programming language we are used is assembly level language so what is assembly level language what is machine level and assembly level language in machine level language only we are using zeros and ones in assembly le- level language uses some symbolic codes called mnemonic codes such as add sub do mal etc so in this generation what are the advantages or it can be easy to understand when compared to machine level language and also we can identify errors easily and also we can maintain easily so what are the disadvantages in second generation is size is bulky means size is a large and also cost is very expensive so and also programs are not executed fastly in third generation third generation computers are manufactured by using integrated circuits so by using these integrated circuits what are the programming language we are used for this computer is high level language so what is high level language means which is readable easily or we can write like english language these are programmers friendly languages and also designed to develop software applications for specific purpose and also compilers 
interpretum lincoln or introduce in this generation and also high level language are considered as procedure oriented language in third generation what are the advantages are easy to understand write debug and maintain and also faster smaller and cheaper what are the disadvantages in third generation is code is machine dependent and also code is less efficient so in third generation of computers this is the advantages and disadvantages coming to fourth generation in fourth generation computers are manufactured by using ics means integrated circuits with large scale integrated and later with very large scale integrated technology or used in this fourth generation and here graphical user interface systems are introduced in this fourth generation and also high speed computer networks like lan man wan are started growing in this fourth generation so what are the advantages in this fourth generation or these are called as problem oriented programming language and also coding was done by using english like sentences coming to fifth generation fifth generation computers are manufactured by using ics means integrated circuits with ultra large scale integrated technology and here internet became wider spread and also by using these fifth generation natural languages are implemented to support artificial intelligence these languages are very powerful languages all the robotics are implemented by using this artificial intelligence what are the advantages of this fifth generation is internet became wider spread and also very advanced programming languages are introduced in this fifth generation these are consumers very less power so this this is about the history of computers or generations of computers thank you inka evaraina subscribe chesukokunda unte please subscribe my channel marenno updates tho mee munduku vastu untam thank you